Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-December 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Libra, before I get started, I do want to say that I have restocked on my crystal sets on my online shop. I'm overwhelmed by how fast they sold out. It's amazing, guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you were one of those people that were looking to purchase the crystal sets, go ahead and check out my online shop, as well as I have these Zodiac handmade candles that I made myself, intuitively choosing the colors and the scents that I believe you guys will really enjoy. So if you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, go ahead and check out the description box and you'll find the link to my online shop there. Alright Libra, let's get started. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and or Stellium of Libra. This is not going to resonate with every Libra that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how I prioritize the messages that are provided during these readings, and that's how I set the intention. So, Libra, if this doesn't resonate with you, I suggest checking your different signs and other placements, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Libra. Just please, cross watchers and... Libra, keep in mind that I'm picking up on both energies here. And because energy is fluid, if you feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles should be reversed, please feel free to go ahead and intuitively reverse the roles yourself and figure out exactly what side you're on. Um, you'll know if it's for you, if you feel it in your heart and in your sacral chakras. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. So if I'm saying masculines or feminines at all during this reading, please know that I'm referring to the energies, not the sex or the gender. If anything is sex or gender specific, I will let you know. All right, Libra, let's get started. Really weirdly, I just heard Hershey kiss, Hershey kisses. Don't know if someone likes those or eating those or getting those for whatever holiday they're celebrating at this time or something, maybe the person you're connected with likes Hershey Kisses. So Libra, the spread I'm going to do today is in regards to whoever you're energetically or romantically connected to at this time, how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, and what they don't like about you, um, any sort of, you know, what they like about the connection, what they don't like about the connection, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are. So I do want to keep in mind, guys, this reading is not for everyone. Um, so, you know, you'll know it's, if it's for you, if it resonates, all right? Let's get started. Angels, spirits, and guides. How does this person feel about Libra at this time? How does this person feel about Libra at this time? Whenever Libra or Cross Watcher is guided to hear this reading. Libra. Two sevens here. Three sevens here. Wow. Okay, so there's seven, seven, seven here. And I feel like there is a time for this person, or maybe for you, Libra, where there is a deep introspection about what someone really wants from this connection that they haven't really thought about until this moment of time. Some of you could be born on the 7th or something like a date on the 7th could resonate with someone or someone could have met someone in July or had an experience with someone in July. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I believe Leo had this in their reading. I could be wrong, um, but I know some other sign had this. Let me know in the comments. They want to put work into this, Libra. They see you as something to be invested in their time, their energy, their money. And I'm almost getting this feeling like I know that around this time is the holidays and I think they're saving up to get you something that you really wanted. Um, something that you may have told them through like conversation, like, oh, if I only had this, like I'd be really excited. And I think they like took note 
for some of you out there. Again, it's not for everyone. But they're really interested in making this work. I'm feeling for a lot of you, it could be someone from the past, but I feel like this is someone where you guys are just starting to connect with each other. And the more and more as time goes on, the more they see that this is something they really want to work on. I'm also getting a feeling that some of you met this person maybe at work or at a work event. Doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have that somewhere in your chart, specifically Virgo energy coming through here. But I almost feel like for some of you, there was a recent time when you guys like kind of hooked up and someone wanted to like cuddle a little longer and the other person was like already getting up and getting dressed and they are just like, damn, I want to take this to the next level. How do I approach it? How do I go forward with it? I'm also getting this morning sex type of energy. Um... For some of you out there. And I'm getting that like someone like grinds their own coffee beans. Not everyone obviously. Um, but there's a lot of... they. There is definitely, especially a masculine energy I'm picking up on. Definitely wants to put a lot of... A lot more effort, a lot more work, and a lot more love into this situation. And the feminine, I don't know if the feminine's really aware of this yet. But I think during this time, it's going to be very well known um, because I do feel like there's going to be an advancement in this. They have their eyes on the prize, Libra. And the prize is you, I'm feeling strongly. What they feel about you. Yeah, so this is why I was kind of feeling like I, f I feel like this connection is relatively new for a lot of you. Um, I'm getting like you're a, fresh, a breath of fresh air for them. Um, I do feel like you could be connected to an Aquarius or an Aries, but it's almost as if maybe they left a karmic or a relationship before and when they met you, it was like a new chance at love that they kind of thought they weren't really ready for expecting, but because they vibe with you so well, because they, they really do like you it's like almost as if when you hit them up libra they get so excited they're like yes libra hit me up almost as if they didn't want to make it look like they were the ones waiting on your text waiting on your call they didn't know if they should reach out first um but i do feel like if that was their energy before i do feel like they're going to be a lot more daring soon i don't know if you guys were just like dating casually dating getting to know each other but Libra, the more they got to know you, the more they're excited to start something and take it to the next level. And I do feel like they're leaving behind any sort of past relationships or past habits that may have, um, haven't served them well. I'm not getting necessarily that, um, well, with the snake here, I mean, some people view snake as, oh, there's a snake in the grass. Um, but for me as a reader, more than anything, it's transformation because a snake sheds their skin, right? And then they become a brand new version of themselves. And that's how I'm feeling the most about this Libra. I would, we'll go into it a bit, but I do feel like from this connection, it's like they really shed their past behind them, their past experiences. Almost Libra too, if some third I'm not feeling third party, but if there's like an outside factor, a third energy, I'm picking up for some of you here where this person, it could be with you too, Libra, that's still trying to hang on to a relationship that was long gone. Um, it's really going to be put an end to it because they're excited to still be with you. So if there is someone that there's an ex around still trying to pick up the crumbs, you know, um, I don't feel like that's going to last long at all. They're really, really excited to start something new with you. I do feel like for some of these people, they're definitely like hikers or they're outdoor people. They like to do a lot of outdoor activities, but that could also be you too, Libra. Um, I'm also getting skiers or snowboarders as well, but they have plans. They absolutely have plans. I'm guessing like either you, Libra, or this person has like really cute ankle boots. Again, not for everyone, right? But someone out there will resonate with that.
or just purchase some I don't know shoe shopping <laughs> um what they think about you Libra the queen of pentacles yes love this for some of you it could be snowing outside right now or you just woke up to snow this morning or there's going to be snow around the holidays for you guys um but regardless they find they admire the shit out of you you know your worth you know your value you like nice things um quality things but you work very hard for them libra it's not like the, these were given to you you like to put hard work in to yourself and to the people that you love i'm also getting for some of my libras too which is nothing wrong with this hey i'm a leo venus so i understand but it's like you guys like to be a little pampered admired um a bit like you like it when you because you'll do the same for them so it's like you like it when people compliment on how you look or buy you certain gifts and just to show you how much they care and it's not in a materialistic way it's in a way where it's like damn like i know i would feel like if i thought they looked good i would tell them and they're telling me you know i, I i'm not feeling like it so much in a negative way you definitely like to be complimented but it's because you deserve it it's not because they're trying to kiss your ass you really do look good you really do work hard you really are loyal you really are giving and it's nice to hear that validation coming from the person you love yeah definitely someone's a shoe person here they love shoes i'm also getting there's a masculine out there that likes feet i don't know maybe you have very nice pedicured toes or someone likes pedicured feet i don't know we all have our likes. I'm also getting someone that is recent, like going furniture shopping as well. Getting new furniture in their house. But yeah, they see you, Libra, as someone who's really giving, really kind, hardworking though. You don't just give to anyone. You don't just trust anyone. You give to the people who give back to you. And I feel like for a lot of you that took... For some, not all, it was definitely where you had to grow into this realization that um, just because I like someone doesn't mean I have to constantly be giving, um, especially when no one's, they're not giving back to me. And for some, it was a hard lesson and before in previous relationships, you felt like you gave, you gave, you gave, and there was never any sort of appreciation. There was never sort of reciprocation to where you finally came into this queen of pentacles, again, regardless of sex or gender energy where you're like you know what i know i got it going and i know that i also should be open to receive and not feel selfish for it and they want to give libra they absolutely want to give to you oh beautiful energy what they oh so there's four sevens on the board by the way seven's huge for some of you guys okay um, the number seven, I don't know if it's a specific date or if it's like the amount of, I don't know, uh, <laughs> kids you have, maybe, I don't know, birthmarks you have, I don't know, seven, some very significant to someone out there. But anyway, they like that you're determined. They like that nothing really keeps you down. You know, we all go through hard things in life. We all experience some rocky roads, but... Libra, you're not the one to just kind of sit there, um, wallow about it or be very upset about it. And, you know, you kind of say, look, this happened. This sucks. I'm going to get back on my horse and push through because life still has to go on. Maybe there's something that's going to happen in seven days for you, Libra. I'm feeling guided to say that in a week. Um, whether that is an event or something like this person's going to say something to you or give you something. Um, I'm definitely getting the energy. If, if it's not morning sex, then it's definitely like someone kind of woke you up by like kissing you or touching you. And then it started to go from there into having sex. Like waking up to you um, or you waking up to them kind of like getting ready to get at it, right? But you're very determined, you're very strong, and you have this mindset that you can't hold me down. You can't block me from where I'm going. Some of you um, travel a lot, 
whether that's for work or just because you like to travel. Um, but you're on the go and you don't stop at anything to get what you want and they find that really sexy and really confident. Yeah, definitely caressing for a lot of you. Um, yeah, some of someone could have a horse or someone could um, be into horses, ride horses. Again, not for everyone. But that you're determined, you're strong, you succeed, you're very successful at whatever you do should you put your mind to it and be determined to see it out, which a lot of you do. What they don't like about you, Libra, um, so again, it's really interesting because if you look at both of these cards, it's almost as if this person's reaching out with the rose and a masculine energy. It's like the masculine's really, really down to get this going. I mean, let's get it on by Marvin Gaye is what I'm hearing right now in my head. And it's almost as if the feminine, I don't know if the feminine is somewhat doubting for some reason the motives of this person and if it's not the motives of this person it's it's from like an area of i'm not sure if this person's just trying to play with me maybe because you felt like you were being played in the past libra maybe you really got your hopes up and it just turned out in a way that you weren't expecting and weren't happy with so you almost are afraid in some way that this would just be another repeat of the past. But I can tell you, Libra, it's not. They're very excited in being with you, hanging out with you. Um, but they do feel like you're guarded in multiple ways. And we can see this from the Seven of Wands on the board and the Two of Swords. And I also see the Seven of Swords, which I do feel like is a past energy that you guys may have dealt with in the past. Someone that was sneaky, someone that wasn't honest, someone that was just trying to play with your feelings or play with your mind in some way. Also, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer strongly here. Um, but they just feel like you're closing yourself off to them, that you're using too much of your mind and not really going off of your feelings. But I do have to say a part of you, you know, she has one shoe on and one shoe off. It's like you, you, a side of you really does want to trust and go for it, but there's still something holding you back. Still something that's making you second guess. Is this really how they feel? Are they really being honest? I, let's go ahead and clarify that. I kind of want to see why. Why is the Two of Swords here and what they don't like about Libra? The Sun. Well, part of it, you could be dealing with a Leo, with the magician at the bottom of the deck. I almost feel like you're trying to block out this huge, like they want to give you all of the happiness that you give them, Libra. Honestly, with the Fool card there and with the Queen of Pentacles of how they think about you. It's like they're really trying to manifest a beginning of happiness because they feel it with you, Libra. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. But they're really trying to get things going where they feel like you're just kind of blocking it out. I want to, let's get another card to clarify the two swords. Why is the two of swords here for what they don't like about Libra? With the fool, yeah. I mean, <laughs> with the emperor at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries or you can have Aries somewhere in your chart. But I do feel like this is some of your energy. Um, it's almost as if like you're trying to stay focused on what you want and have a high priority in... If someone's not meeting a, meeting a certain criteria, you're not going to get up and make a movement. They're going to have to show you real dedication, real hard work here and I do feel like they want to put it in but they feel like you're holding back a shit ton and you are definitely guarded do you see that armor it's like as if you've been through a lot Libra I'm not gonna lie and the emperor is not someone who was just an emperor overnight 
they had to go through these struggles, they had to go through these tests and succeed them. And that's what made them the hardworking, determined person that they are today. So I do feel like it's, they do want to just begin something, but they just feel whether they're not a priority in some way or that you're just guarding yourself from this really happy new beginning that they want to give you out of means of protection. And I do feel like you're not, and it's almost as if some of you just really, really want to make sure that this is the right person this time around, that this person will be giving to you, will be um, someone who's honest and upfront. I don't know why I'm getting this energy that you guys dealt with dishonesty in the past. What they like most about this connection is the Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting still more Earth energy. Um, it's almost as if like they enjoy the fact that you guys are just down. You're just really chill people, I feel like, for a lot of you. As if, you know, I'm not saying that you don't always like to go out and have fun and meet a whole lot of people. But you're also cool with just you know, getting some takeout, hanging out at your home or at their house, having really intimate time with them. Um, I feel like you guys have definitely stayed at each other's houses a lot. Maybe you guys are even going to move in together or they want to move in with you, Libra. Um, I almost get this thing where you guys, like, were either, like, watching a movie or were having some fun on the couch and you guys, like, fell asleep on the couch and you woke up the morning, like, how did we end up here for some... But they do know that you are someone who really evaluates things and will not make action or take action, I should say, into something that isn't really fully blossomed yet. You're patient. You're analyzing. You're waiting for the perfect moment for them to get going, but... I do feel like this is the reason why they like this the most is because they actually see that you're taking them as a consideration or that you are thinking that this person may be the one that is going to provide you with that harvest you've been waiting to um, accept and grow. It's something where they really do have some sort of hope, although it may be going slow, although they may feel like you're closing yourself off, you're guarding yourself. I do feel like, I don't know if it's a water sign. I'm not seeing cups on the board except for cancer, but it's like they just know that you just need a little bit more time and patience. But for the fact that you're actually taking this as an option, they're happy enough with that. Then we have another seven um, for what they don't like about this connection, the seven of wands. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically Leo. Um, yeah, they just feel like you're still not opening up, that you're still trying to be defensive and not let them in as much as they want to be a part of your life or be with you, Libra. It's like as if still you're keeping things casual or... Again, this could all be vice versa too, but just keeping things casual or just not really ready yet to take it to the next level where they just, ooh, Libra, they find you sexy. Um, specifically for some, your neck and your back. Um, but it's just almost as this thing where they're just really wanting to see like they know you're taking them as an option they know you're in considering them in a way of like starting something new or really going to the next level but i don't know if they've tried to like i almost get this feeling that they've tried to talk to you about like taking it to the next step or being committed or being with you and they feel like this defensive energy coming from you again it could be out of a place of self-protection but it's like they just really want you to open up and to be vulnerable and to be open and honest i almost feel like for some again not all 
it's getting to a point where they almost feel like maybe you're the one that just isn't isn't taking them as seriously as they want to take you and that maybe you're the one just again it's energy um if it resonates at all but maybe just taking it too casually and not really looking for anything else and that you're just blocking out any sort of advancement that they're trying to give you or any offer that they want to give but they're definitely wanting to give an offer it's just will you be able to receive it are you ready to receive it they don't know when you would be ready to how much longer does it need to take again they're thankful for at least the kind consideration but i don't know libra i also get for some of you not all of you they just find you very defensive um, and not, I said that before, but in a way where it's like, um, I don't know if they try to joke around with you, especially with that fool energy. Um, and maybe recently they tried to make a joke out of something and you got really upset about it. And they don't know if you're someone that takes jokes very well. That's not for everyone, but something of that matter. And again, it could all be vice versa. This is an interesting placement, but I have some sort of idea from this. Highest hopes is the Seven of Swords. There's a couple things here. I'm getting for some of you. Um, I really feel like, you know, just knowing the basic definition of a tarot card is useful but it's up to you in interpreting why it's in this position and what you see in the card is to giving a further answer than just the textbook definition because that won't apply to every question that's being asked it's a very important lesson in tarot which a lot of tarot readers don't understand or even people who listen to tarot readings but i'm getting this feeling because these people are facing away from each other um, and when the masculine specifically looks very sad, very upset, while the feminine is just looking at these flowers, at this pinnacle, they're hoping that, you know, what they feel and what they want isn't just something that they're deceiving themselves with the hopes of being with you. That you want to be with them as much as they want to be with you. And that it's not one-sided here that it is reciprocated, that it is both of you have each other on, you know, each other's minds. And that this isn't something that they're fooling themselves like, oh, you know, because Libra is not opening up, maybe because they don't want to be with me in a romantic way. Maybe they don't want to, other than for some of you, they even feel like they are just in it or you're just in it for like sex. Um, not all, obviously, but let's go ahead and clarify. This is Aquarius energy. Again, a lot of Aquarius energy, a lot of Leo and Aries energy. But again, it doesn't have to be any of the signs and a lot of Virgo and Capricorn. Yeah, a lot of Leo energy. Um, but with the Strength card and the Nine of Cups, yeah, they're kind of just keeping faith and hoping and wishing that this is something that both of you want. And they have high, high hopes for this too. Like they're definitely manifesting you, Libra. And they're manifesting this love with you. And they're trying to keep strong. They're trying to keep their ego aside from worry, some fear. Um, because they're really just taking the high road here and being like, you know what? If Libra didn't like me, they wouldn't respond to me. If Libra didn't like me, then they wouldn't make an effort to hang out with me. So there has to be some way that I am right in this, that I do feel like, you know, although Libra may not be opening up 100%, um, they're not 100% down yet to take things to the next level. If I just keep wishing, keep hoping and having that faith that I will convince myself in a way that this is all me worrying about, you know, Libra's not excited, Libra doesn't want this, it's just all of me just trying to deceive myself or um, my ego side trying to trick me into thinking that this isn't really what I feel or what is going on here. 
specifically. Like they, they, and again, this is water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be involved with. Um, I am getting a very, very hopeful energy with this. And then with the Seven of Swords, people are like, oh, cheating, lying. In some context, yeah, but I also see it as self-deception, mental strategy, trying to outplay a certain situation in the way where it benefits them the most. But in this situation, I really just think it's them in their own head trying to convince themselves that really there is something there, that it's not something that they're lying to themselves about or that they their ego side is afraid is one-sided but they're really really hoping that this is something that will come to fruition absolutely someone's definitely like some sparkling water really randomly or mineralized water i don't know how y'all call it but their deepest fears is the six of pentacles And what I'm getting from this is that one is just, you look at this picture and this woman has all the apples to herself, right? And there's someone in the back, just like, I don't know if he just came in the door or if he is watching this woman have all these apples. She doesn't look really like, you know, all there in the head. Um, but it's almost as if, are they ever going to give this value to me? Are is it ever going to be both ways? Because they do have a lot of feelings for you, Libra. They do. But they feel like you're so, for some, you're so afraid to open up or that you're afraid to show your true self. That will it ever happen for some of them is like the worry in their minds. This is Taurian energy, but it could also be Virgo or Capricorn. They're just waiting for something to give you know someone definitely likes apples someone could have had an apple today eating an apple <laughs> i don't know um but yeah will this ever be reciprocated are they ever gonna open up and give to me and what if it doesn't happen where do we go from there because they don't want to give this up libra they like with the strength card the fool the Nine of Cups, like this is something they really, really want with you. All right, Libra, for the likely outcome and any advice for you going into the end of December, early January, we're going to go ahead and take that to Vimeo. So if you're interested in joining me on Vimeo, go ahead and check out the description box and you'll see the link to the extended reading and we can go ahead and look, check out that information. But before we go, I will pull a Romance Angel card. I'm going to ask what their intentions are with you, Libra what their highest hopes is with you, how they feel about you, um, to get you some further clarity. Because I do feel like a lot of you are just like, well, what does this person want? Um, and I feel like you guys know, again, with the Two of Swords, like part of you knows and wants it too, but there's still some apprehension here. Whoo! Bottom of the deck, we have Soulmate. Oh, geez. Okay. Express your love. Libra, this is exactly everything I was saying. They want you to go ahead and Give them that validation that you do f feel this strong bond that they feel for you. That you do like them as much as they like you. And to stop, you know, guarding yourself or blocking this out in some way. They really want you to open up and express your love because they feel like this is a potential soulmate connection here with you. And they really want to get this going. They really want to get this advanced and evolved. But again, it's like... They really feel for some it's just one-sided or they just don't know how you feel because it hasn't been said it hasn't been expressed so i almost hear them saying like what are you waiting for let's do this wow libra that was an exciting reading that was your reading i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please let me know please comment like share and subscribe again if you want to see the likely outcome of the situation and any advice going into 
the uh, beginning of January and of December, go ahead and check out the description box for the Vimeo link. Again, I have restocked all my crystal sets and have my Zodiac handmade candle, so if you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone you love, go ahead and check out my online shop in the description box as well. I love you, Libra, and I wish you the best. Happy holidays for whatever you celebrate at this time. Take care.